Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create the look of fine art mezzotint prints from photographs. A mezzotint is a form of intaglio etching in which a metal plate is roughened evenly and then smoothed to bring out an image. This printing technique produces soft gradations of tone with rich velvety blacks. Open a photo you'd like to use for this project. I downloaded this one from Shutterstock. Before we begin, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, smash that subscribe button and please remember to click that like button which lets YouTube know you like my stuff. To ensure that your results will look similar to mine, check your photo's size and resolution by going to Image and Image Size. Its width and height should be approximately within 500 pixels of mine and its resolution should be 150 pixels per inch. We'll convert our photo into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. Doing this also allows us to replace it with a different photo without having to redo the effects. Click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. We'll make two copies of it by pressing Ctrl or Command J twice. Name the top layer Blur Mezzotint, the middle layer Find Edges, and the bottom layer Crosshatch. Hide the top two layers and go to Filter, Brush Strokes, and Crosshatch. If you don't see it, click Filter Gallery and open the Brush Strokes folder and click Crosshatch. Make the stroke length 30, the sharpness 5, and the strength 2. Make the Find Edges layer visible and active. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Find Edges. Change its Blend Mode to Multiply, and reduce its opacity to 50%. Make the top layer visible and active. Go to Filter, Pixelate, and Mesotint. Choose Fine Dots. Go back to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Blur it one pixel. Change its Blend Mode to Hard Light and reduce its opacity to 50%. If you want your mezzotint to be a black and white monotone image, click the adjustment layer icon and click black and white. For this image, I like the color version better, so I'll hide the black and white adjustment layer. Next, we'll add a border surrounding it. Go to Image and Canvas Size. Change pixels to percent. I'll type in 110 for its width, and 115 for its height. Feel free to adjust these amounts for your border. Control or Command click the thumbnail of the image to select its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. Contract it 3 pixels. Go back to Select, Modify, and Feather. Feather it 3 pixels. We'll place all our layers into a folder by scrolling to the bottom and shift-clicking the bottom layer to make all the layers active. Then press Ctrl or Command G. Click the Layer Mask icon to make a layer mask of the selection next to the folder. This will confine all the layers inside the folder to the shape of the layer mask. Notice this softens the edge of our image. Ctrl or Command click the New Layer icon to make a new layer below the active layer. We'll fill it with white, but before we do, check your foreground and background colors. If they aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. If the colors are inverted, press X. Since white is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the empty layer with the background color. Mesotint prints always have an impression in the paper from the inked metal plate being forced into the paper. To recreate that look, Control or Command click the layer mask to select it and go to Select, Modify, 
and expand. Expand it 10 pixels. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy the inside of the selection onto its own layer. Double click the thumbnail to open its layer style window. Click Outer Glow. If the color box isn't black, click it, and when the color picker opens, pick black. The blend mode is normal, the opacity is 8%, and the noise is zero. The technique is softer, the spread is zero, and the size is 10 pixels. The contour is linear, and the range is 50%. I'll name that layer Plate Impression. Make the top layer active and click the new layer icon to make a new layer. We'll fill it with white and since our background color is white, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Change its blend mode to Multiply and go to Filter, Texture and Texturizer. Again, if you don't see it, click Filter Gallery Open the Texture folder and click Texturizer. The texture is sandstone, the scaling is 100%, the relief is 5, and the light is from the top. Lastly, we'll blur the texture a bit to make it look softer. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur, and blur it 2 pixels. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.